Alright Mush, welcome to another whimsical and whiz joyful episode of Avid Game Over. A title that I've only said once, yet here we are on the third instalment. Jesus, three episodes deep on a scripted video series. Moving up in the world Sunbeam, now today's topic is language, or more precisely, thinking about language. Or the, the language of thinking. I already know some of you out there are a little bit confused, but don't worry, I'm going to be like that guiding spirit that walks you home after a blackout from your second bottle of rum at your local charity bake-off. What, were you looking at me like that for? Everybody knows everything tastes better with rum, and that includes fondue. Language is a beautiful thing, no matter what one you speak in, and the question I pose today is not my own, and it may seem like an odd question to a normal person, yet quite ordinary to a rapscallion like myself who questions everything. You can hear me express my words as I exhale burnt oxygen from my filthy little working class mouth, but can you hear me thinking? Can you hear yourself thinking? Is it your normal voice? Does it speak to you? Do you speak to it? Is there more than one voice in there? We are. No, seriously, I need to know that last one. Is it just me? Now, so we come to the question that inspired today's topic. Can you even think if you've never been taught a language? And I promise you, it's related to gaming. I'm just saving that bit for the end after I've melted your brains for another couple of minutes. This question has been bugging me since I first encountered it in 1984. No, the, the book, damn it people, not the year. While the question itself is not in the book, it has been a topic for discussion with academics and philosophers since the book's release in 1949. Now, I'm not here to go to the ins and outs of it all, but I am here to push you in front of the bus to make sure it hits ya. I sat down to make this script with very few words in mind. Now, is that because I can't think what to say, or because I don't have the words, i.e. the language, in my vocabulary to actually get my thoughts out? I believe it to be the latter. That means the second one. If I was better educated, I'd be more able to comprehensively translate my thoughts to words. Now don't get me wrong, if I sit and take my time, I can just about manage with my limited capacity of words. I think, therefore I am. But if I didn't know what I am means, could I think it? I'd obviously be aware of base instincts and feelings. Some things taste good, sunshine is warm, water is wet. Yet I don't truly understand these things until I was taught these words, because these words, this language, allows the transfer of information and in turn allows me to think more. This is turning into the chicken and egg question. I know I need language to express my thoughts, yet I've never been without language. Words and their meaning gave rise to my self-awareness. I don't remember a time I couldn't talk. Language is where my history begins and that's my truth. Yet my mum and dad say I was here years before. That's also true. But is it? Just perhaps, language is what separates us from being empty vessels. And once we comprehend its code, that's what sparks our consciousness into existence. Fucking hell, I'm more confused now than when I started. I guess you didn't make it home safe after all, did ya? Alright, <laughs> lay back. Oh yeah, PS coding is a language that game developers use, and if they didn't know how to use it, they couldn't create a game. In other words, they couldn't bring anything into existence without it. If you don't speak that language, how could you think about making a video game? Alright, lay back. 